What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys. Before we start this video don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe. Leave me some comments below. I definitely enjoy interacting with you guys. But yeah let's just jump to the to the point of this video as you can see from the title this video is going to be all about how to start a business when you're working full time i received this question in my dm on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram definitely head over to instagram and follow me at amani jelena uh, but long story short someone asked me this question and i thought like why don't i make a video about this i lived this um lived through this uh so i definitely feel as though i'm one of the perfect people to come in kind of give you guys a little insight on starting your business when you do work full-time now I've got the notes in my phone so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them up for you guys so I don't miss anything so some key points that I want to point out when you are starting a business when you do work full-time so these are just some tips and tricks that I'm gonna give you guys so that it could be a smoother process for you and I don't want you guys to get discouraged when trying to start a business and you work full-time or you're a mom or you know you have siblings that you have to take care of and things like that so these are just some pointers that I'm gonna give you you guys can utilize them if you would like I recommend it because like I said I lived through this situation and it definitely paid off. So it is possible to start a business while you're working full time and then, you know, eventually dropping your nine to five and just solely working for yourself. So the very first pointer or tip that I'm going to give you guys is uh, set up a business, set up a business work schedule and stick with it. Now, that's very important. Yes, you have a nine to five. Yes, you have a nine to five work schedule, but you want to treat your business just as it, it just as if it's important as a nine to five so you definitely want to set up some sort of small schedule that you will 100 percent stick by while in the process of starting your business while you're working and that schedule can be something small it could be a few hours a day it could be maybe you work you know four days a week and you dedicate two days out of out of the week strictly to working for your business but it's very important that you get yourself on a business schedule as well while you also have your normal nine to five schedule very important my uh, tip number two is going to be you get zero handouts uh, so get up and get things done now I do when I was working <laughs> when I was working about 50 hours a week I was exhausted so when I did have that little bit of downtime yes I was working as much as I could on my business but a lot of the time I was exhausted a lot of the time I was I just wanted to crawl into bed take a shower crawl into bed and go to sleep and just wake up the next day and just sleep my days away when I had that extra time but it came to a point where I was like no I have to get out of this nine to five I cannot work a nine to five for the rest of my life so that's when I took the leap and I was like let me get on a schedule let me go ahead and uh get up do what I gotta do and then I could play later or sleep later or do whatever I wanted to do after I was done with my business schedule tip number three is is going to be dedicate at least two to three hours out the day to your business that is important now whatever schedule you choose to be on for your business is solely up to you but what I personally recommend is setting aside two to three hours out of the day to get business related things done especially in the startup process because when you're starting a business it is hard work it is a lot of work making sure you have all of your ducks in a row making sure your legal uh, business is taken care of making sure your logos are taken care of the websites taken care of inventory you're uh, communicating back and forth with vendors that is stressful but it's important for you to make sure that you actually get up and do it so dedicating that two to three hours a day is like a sweet spot when starting a business uh, because you're not neglecting anything and you're not waiting till the end of the week to get everything done and you're driving yourself crazy because you don't feel like you have any time to yourself or to your family husbands friends boyfriends girlfriends so dedicate two to three hours and you'll be fine uh tip four is going to be financially start setting yourself up and what i mean by that is ultimately when you start your business it's important to start setting money aside it's important to start um living as if you were strictly just working for yourself so setting aside certain funds or setting aside percentages of your checks and things like that will set you up better for the future when you do actually you know take that leap to working solely for yourself so financially setting yourself up is 
beneficial so don't sleep on it and make sure you do it uh tip number five is going to be use your nine to five money to invest and what i mean by that you want to invest the money that you're making and, and invest that into your business invest that into making your logo invest that into creating your website invest that into getting your inventory utilize the money that you have now to make money because it takes money to make money okay and don't forget that yes i understand that everyone has bills car notes insurance rents mortgages kids like there's a lot of stuff that tie into each individual's life but it is important that you do set aside something, whether it's 20 bucks, $100, $500, whatever your budget is or whatever financially you have going on, just set something aside uh, so that, that when it is time to make certain moves, like getting a logo designer, you can get someone that you actually want. And I'm not going to lie, logo designers are pretty expensive. A lot of logo designers for a quality logo is $100 plus. Dollars. So set yourself up for success. Don't set yourself up to struggle or any or postpone your dreams or anything like that uh, so the last tip is going to be tip number six and use your off days it's work days for your business no days off and what I mean by that in the beginning of you know starting starting a business when you do work full-time it is very very important that you put the time into your business so for the few for set yourself up as like a challenge for the next two weeks or the next three weeks i'm going to go hard for my business which means no days off no sleeping treat your business as if this is your baby and when you have a baby you don't get sleep i'm <laughs> as you guys know i just delivered my son uh a little over three weeks now and he sleeps throughout the night but he definitely wakes up at least like maybe three times throughout the night so i don't really get to sleep you need to you you need to take that same mode and that same method and treat that as if it's your business you don't get any days off your business is your baby so you literally need to wake up in the middle of the night and do work you need to wake up in the middle of the night or uh, and take care of your business and so forth so uh, like I said treat your business like your baby let your baby grow uh, and, and I can guarantee you you'll have much success but it's all about implementing these tips it's all about putting the time into your business it's all about being patient with your business and so forth so I hope this video is definitely very beneficial to you guys I want you guys to let me know in the comment section if you like these little um, you know eight eight minute 10 minute videos that i've been putting up lately and if you guys do have any questions or any uh suggestions as far as videos that you would like to see i want you guys to comment that stuff if you guys don't let me know what you want to see i will probably never post what you want to see so you have you guys have to definitely let me know what's going on with your business what type of videos would be beneficial for you to watch and then i can go ahead and create like a um a video schedule so that i can get all of those videos put out there for you put out there for you guys but i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like subscribe comment some stuff let me know how your day is going um and yeah i will talk to you guys later